Welcome to the first intermission. To the point is going to be about best on best. Jennifer Botterill, Kelly Rudy both have played in best on best. And Kevin to a point, world championships, although some of the guys were busy. This with is best on best. Yes, it is. <laughs> and because of that, because you're so good at this, uh, you get of the four games, uh, three are tied. Toronto's trailing 2 nothing to Carolina. You get to pick one. What would you say was the highlight of the first 20 minutes somewhere? And Toronto game? No, no. You got Brady Kachuk. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, so you're leading me, right? And I did not catch it. I wanted it. you to have so that So I couldn't surprise. play on the baseball best on best, clearly, because I can't catch. But Brady Kachuk has been up to his old tricks, and he's trying to will his team right now into a playoff spot. And they basically have to run the table to get there. And this was the goal there, the beautiful shot. And how many times have we seen this? Being physical, right in front of his own bench. He tries to get tossed over, and I think out of you know necessity, he kind of tries to lock his leg around there. He got a minor for that one, but he's one assist away from a Gordie Howe hat trick. He gets a fight here against Miles Wood, who's another tough guy. And these are spirited fights. And when I look at Brady after, I don't even think, I just think he enjoys the way he plays. I don't think he's doing it for any other reason other than this is who he is. That's what's ingrained in him. He's got one Gordie Howe this year, and he's an assist away from a second. There's only 10 in the whole league this year. Brother Matthew also has one. You know, Kevin, Connor McDavid, uh, the other night, 60th goal, yeah. uh, his intensity in the overtime. And but even no earlier, fighter assist. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you he, want him? Hard, <laughs> hard, hard, hard to he's in his own world, right? And, and yes. he's also coming into yeah. his own voice yeah. over and over again. Yeah. And here's uh, an example when he talks about the idea of a World Cup of Hockey. I thought it was really cool. It's what we've been asking for in hockey for a long time, right? Um, you know, it was best on best. And... Um, you know, look, everyone's talking about baseball, and, you know, did you see, you know, Otani versus Trout? And, you know, that's what hockey's been missing for, you know, almost a decade now. So, Jennifer, why don't you start us off on this one? Well, first of all, I do think it's great to see him expressing his opinion and how strongly he feels about that. I think we're seeing more and more personality from Connor McDavid. But it is. I think that's what we're all craving is to see best on best and how important those moments can be. If I think about Olympic Games, even the example in 2010, my last Olympic Games, and it was you know watching the men's game a few days after ours and people coast to coast to coast that come together in countries. And there's been a lot of discussion on how do we grow the game of hockey? And I feel like it's an opportunity when you have best on best to grow the game globally and if you look at the mention from McDavid to the World Baseball Classic on those moments and what it can do for a country or a continent I mean you think do you, do you guys see the broadcast from the, the Japanese broadcast we'll have a look at the energy yes. right that they showed from the, the Japanese broadcast from this final no, you're pitch. directing the show John. <laughs> that's my move there and that's what unifies people and helps them to fall in love with the game well that's called producing but you're close but anyway so the way I look at it is that it's great to grow the game globally and that we're all doing it but it's how all these international events change how the game is played and I go back in my time when you look at the summer summit series in 72 and also the Canada Cups early days when the Soviets taught us a different way to play and about puck possession which happens to be a big part of the NHL today you think of the uh, the Czechs and how Dominic Hoshik changed the position of goal. You think of the U.S., 80 uh, Olympic Games, and then they win uh, the World Cup in uh, 1996 because all those kids knew about the Olympic Games in 1980. So that's how I think the game of hockey gets better because the product on the ice is a lot better. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. And it's legacy-defining moments, I think. You think about how great Gretzky and Lemieux were in their NHL careers. Well, I think 87 Canada Cup. Gretzky down the wing, drops with Lemieux, top glove hand on, on the Russians. And and then you think of Crosby. Yeah, he's got three Stanley Cups. Big deal, right, Jen? But he's got the golden goal. He's got two Olympic gold medals. And it's special. Like, playing for your country. I haven't played best on best, but I played for my country. It's something special because now you're not representing a small fan base or a city. You're representing an entire nation. And it's just special to be playing for that. It just feels like it's heightened and there's something more to it yeah. and it brings out the best in everybody. Marty Walsh will meet uh, with the media on Thursday and he'll get this question. Elliot's promised he'll ask it. Uh, you keep hearing, well, if Russia can't participate because of the invasion of Ukraine, can't have a World Cup. And I can, does anybody on this panel think we care if Russia... seems like a Russia They don't problem. need to be there. No. It's a no, Russia problem. No, it's still great hockey and everybody will love it. I know the federations will have, you know, deals and such uh, that, that complicate matters, but still, you know, proceed in uh, 2025... 
the next year, that's the reason there isn't a next year, and COVID, of course, interfered prior to it's that. It's just but. been too long, and it has yeah. to be a priority by the NHL and the NHLPA yeah. to get this done. We, it's a shame that McDavid and McKinnon haven't played, and Matthews right. yeah. haven't played international hockey against each other. Okay, let's enjoy uh, last night. Ken Johnson, Port Moody, BC, University of Michigan. Just an incredible move there. And then, of course, he follows it with the Michigan. And what was so stunning about that, 27 years to the date that the move was invented by Mike Legg of London, Ontario. He did it for University of Michigan, hence it's called the Michigan. And there's only one of the, I mean, Crosby's done it, but this is the best. Who's this, Jen? <laughs> My daughter, Maya. <laughs> Those are on the ice That's just uh, this week. <laughs> and everybody at your academy, Kevin, and uh, on and on. Yeah, congrats, Kent. Uh, Islanders had no business in that game. Columbus Blue Jackets right. were tremendous in that play in particular.